Uh, Stone Creek Golf Club is a, a municipal public golf course designed by Peter Jacobson. Um, Jacobson and Hardy to be exact. My greens I, I seeded to Penn Lynx Creeping Bent Grass and we've been interseeding now regularly with Penn A1 every time we airfly, which is about five to six times a year. The fairways and the rough were seeded with a, a single mix of uh, a mixture of fescues and ryegrass, 60% uh, fine fescues and 40% three-way ryegrass. So what we have out here is, uh, I would compare it to the Georgia clay. It's, it's that red color, it's that oxidized clay. It's very fine and dusty during the summer, and it's very wet and slippery and heavy during the winter. Um, water does penetrate, permeate through it to a certain extent, but for the most part, I think the water just hits it and runs to the nearest catch basin. This golf course will change seasonally in appearance. It changes in the, in the winter where everything will be wall-to-wall -wall green, but as the summer approaches and we get into the, the hot, hot months of the year, the Julys and the August, uh, the course really kind of shrinks in, so to speak, as far as the uh, irrigated areas. You know, we have to cut back on our water because um, we pull out of a creek that we have available to us basically up until July. We have to stop using the creek and then we pull out of our wells. And the well can only produce uh, so, uh, such amount that we can uh, put 250,000 gallons a day down. We have to really govern our, our water usage. Our rainfall varies. You know, this last year, for example, we didn't have rain from June through October. Not a drop. I mean, it was very, very dry. And that usual thunderstorm that we might get in July or August just didn't show up this year. We were just without that. So I had to get creative and do some other things as far as irrigation goes. Being challenged out here with the irrigation and our water supply, uh, this year especially with our lack of water we had during the summer, we didn't have that extra rain that we normally get in July and August. Um, I tried to think of a way that we could make, maybe make our water more usable to the golf course. Instead of uh, water going up in the air, I want to make sure I get it into the ground as soon as possible. So the thought came to mind that uh, you know, I've got these ports on my irrigation system on my main line. I thought I may as well take advantage of those ports and, and put a, an injector pump inside there. So I, I contacted my sales rep and I worked through uh, Precision Labs and they supplied me a pump at a, a reasonably good cost. And, I also bought three barrels of duplex. And I've, I injected those barrels once a month through the hot parts of the summer. And this year, I saw a significant difference in my fairways from the previous years. Being this was one of the driest summers that we had, it was also one of the summers where my fairways were the greenest and I had fewer, fewer uh, dry spots. Um, and the only thing that changed was that injection of duplex on my golf course. My rates are very, uh, very liberal. I mean, I, I don't, I'm not real scientific when it comes to my rates when I'm applying the duplex. It's that simple to apply. I simply uh, set the timer to match my run time on my irrigation system. If I'm going to be irrigating for four hours, I'll set the timer to go on when the irrigation system turns on. And I set the timer to go off. And I just adjust the pump levels, the pulses on the pump to match the quantity that I want to go out in that four hours. So if I need 30 gallons out in four hours, I'll adjust it so 30 gallons will be gone in four hours. And then that way I know the whole golf course has received uh, a little taste of duplex and uh, I go from there. I weigh my results by the amount of water I can keep in the ponds, you know, aesthetically. When my pond level gets down low, my wetlands start showing on one of my wetland shelves and it, it may get stinky because of the mud or something like that. Um, I maintained a good level of water all summer and to me that, those are results that I like to achieve. Yeah, when, when you see a, a product um, give you results that significant, you know, normally you wouldn't see that, and I just, I just know it had to be attained to the duplex because I just didn't have any rain this year, and I didn't water anything any differently than I would any previous year, but the condition of my fairways was, was just amazing. I think in our market, people are generally surprised at the condition of the golf course, being that we are a municipal golf course, and they'll come out here and they're, they're astounded by the conditions of the course. They can't believe that it's a municipal and we maintain it at that level. I'll continue using duplex because the results are good.